Welcome everyone, it's Romero17 and I'm going to be bringing you three ways to stop the clinch in UFC 4. Now for those of you who don't know, the clinch is undeniable, but it does not mean that the clinch is unstoppable or unavoidable. So with that being said, I'm going to be showing you guys some basic methods to avoid the clinch. The first thing that you can do against the clinch in UFC 4 is going to be using the major lunges. In order to input a major lunge, you're going to be pressing L1 and using the left stick to lunge away. So by going up or down, you're going to be moving to the side. As you can see here with Kamaru Usman against Kobe Covington, he's trying to reach at me for the clinch attempt, and I'm successfully getting out of range. I can also back lunge, so by going L1 and back, I'm going to be able to take myself out of range, away from the clinch attempt, and I'm chilling. The second method to avoid the clinch in UFC 4 is going to be by using head movement. In order to use head movement, you have to use your right stick. By going up or down, you're going to be able to side sway, and that's going to help you avoid the clinch. You can side sway and you can duck, but if you try to pull against the clinch, they're going to pull your head right back in. Now when it comes to ducking against the clinch, you have to time it correctly. If you try to duck the clinch and you mistime it or there's a huge height disparity, they'll go straight into single under. The third method to avoid the clinch is going to be by using the push. In order to use the push, you have to use R2 and the lead uppercut input, which is going to be square or X or triangle and circle. And that's going to help you initiate a push as they're trying to clinch you. Think of it, it's almost kind of like a denial in a sense. I'm going to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, Dorian Pazin. He gave this idea while I was streaming, trying to like mess around with the clinch and tutorial tips. So this push is really effective. If you have really good reaction time, they can't clinch you. You're going to push them right off. Up next, I'm going to be showing you some of the hard counters against the clinch after you successfully evaded the clinch. After using the major lunge, if you're going to go off to the side, I recommend going straight lead hook or straight lead uppercut. These are good intercepting strikes and they do a lot of damage, especially if they try to clinch you again right after. You can also back lunge and counter. You can back lunge and throw the straight lead hook. Or if you really want to get fancy and land some really good damage, you can go back lunge and fire off an overhand or a haymaker. Up next is going to be the head movement counters. After you successfully evaded the clinch by using the right stick and inputting the hook, you're going to be able to land a really solid counter that's going to get a hit stun. You can also fire off an uppercut as well. And if you want to get really fancy, you can do slip against the clinch, uppercut, hook, and you can sit them down. The third counter that you can do off of the push that I mentioned earlier, you can fire off to the head. Obviously, Kamaru Usman doesn't have the best head kicks, but this is up to your imagination. If you have somebody like to beat Malcolm Sharipov, you can probably do something crazy like push cartwheel kick or push spin kick, push body teeth kick. Really, the creativity is up to you. But yeah, Romero 17, these are three ways to counter and avoid the clinch in UFC 4. I'm out of here.